Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station Decommissioning Project. There is someone who is facing this unprecedented mission. Helping the revitalization of Fukushima, the people of Hitachi. The decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. It is a large scale project with numerous participating companies. The main mission is to safely remove fuel debris, a mixture of melted nuclear fuel and pieces of the reactor building structure. The amount of debris is estimated to exceed 800 tons. Mune Nori Tayama. He is an engineer working for this project. In addition to developing methods for debris retrieval, he is also creating robots that assist the decommissioning work. Mune Nori was born and raised in Hitachi Naka City, Ibaraki Prefecture. He has been familiar with nuclear power since he was a child. It was then that he became interested in robots. Just when he was researching robots in graduate school, March 2011, the Great East Japan earthquake struck and the accident at Fukushima Daiichi occurred. With a background in robotics and a strong desire to contribute to the safety and security of nuclear power, Munenori joined Hitachi in 2012. After joining the company, Munenori was assigned to the decommissioning project. Since then, he has faced a variety of challenges. The goal of the project is to retrieve all the fuel debris from the nuclear reactor and stably store them in a well-controlled environment. This is an extremely difficult, unprecedented mission. Munenori's team has steadily worked to survey the interior of the nuclear reactor. They produced full-sized models of the contaminated structures and carried out simulations repeatedly. After more than a decade since the earthquake, the team is now developing two types of retrieval methods. The first is the top access method, which removes the debris with a crane placed above the containment vessel. The second is the side access method. Here, debris is removed from the side access door. However, there are many obstacles inside the primary containment vessel. Many parts of the nuclear reactor were damaged and contaminated during the accident and still remain inside. These structures block the way regardless of the method selected. To overcome this challenge, 
Mune Nori and his team created a remote-controlled robot. This can help remove obstacles and secure a path to the fuel debris. However, another problem emerged. After trial and error, Munenori's team is trying to move the robot with unusual materials. They are water and springs. The jointly developed muscle robot does not use any electronic parts, so it is not affected by radiation. It moves not by motors, but by moving its joints with water pressure, which allows flexible movement and absorbs shock. It is a resilient robot, which can function even inside the cluttered nuclear reactor. There is rising hope that Muninori's robot will advance the decommissioning project forward. Working earnestly on this difficult project, Muninori is heading toward Fukushima's revitalization.